So Pooh and Piglet waited in the mist for Rabbit. And they waited and waited and waited. And all the while, Pooh's thoughts kept returning to his honey pots at home. What, what, what was that, Pooh? <laughs> My tummy rumbled. Now then, come on, let's go home. But Pooh, do you know the way? No, Piglet, but there are 12 pots of honey in my cupboard, and they have been calling to my tummy. They have? Yes, Piglet. I couldn't hear them before because Rabbit would talk. I think I know where they're calling from, so come on, we'll just follow my tummy. Well, they walked off together, and for a long time, Piglet said nothing, so as not to interrupt Pooh's honey pots. And sure enough, as the mist got thinner, and just when Piglet began to know where he was... Hey, hey, hello there, you two blokes. Where have you been? <laughs> We've been trying to find our way back home. Pooh, I don't think Rabbit's splendid idea worked. Hey, where is old Long Ears anyway? He must still be missing in the mist. Well, <laughs> leave it to me. I'll bounce them out of there. TTFN, ta-ta for now. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rabbit was still wandering around in the mist. By now, he was lost and bewildered. And to make matters worse, his mind was beginning to play tricks on him. What's that? Oh. Never get lost, bunny boy. Never get lost. Of course not. Oh, no. Oh, come on, rabbit. <laughs> Let's go home. Hang on. <laughs> ah! So they started back. And rabbit was now a humiliated rabbit. A lost and found rabbit. And oh, why, oh, why do these things happen to me, rabbit? 